Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Wow. Truly a show of humility. This young man called Davido has done something that, you know, is trending. And um, I really, I am touched by it. I'm not saying he's a humble person because um, somebody can tell you, I am kneeling down or I am on my knees while they are standing on top of your head. Just a sarcastic statement to infer that they don't mean what they are saying. You know, but he just did something that shows humility. He just did something that shows the kind of heart he has, which is something to be emanated, something to learn from, something we can all do. You know, outside the shores of this country is normal. People treat their aides, those who work with them, with respect, dignity, and honor. However, you and I know in Nigeria, the way we treat our drivers, gates men, um, nannies, is on, is on some people behave as if the world eh, begins and ends with them. Like they are, they, they are the possessor of air. A-I-R. They possess air. Without them, you cannot even breathe. But Davido, you know, is, is to Davido is to stand as a best man for his driver. This is the person that he says, for instance, oh, yeah, yeah, come, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. He's standing as a best man. He'll be standing behind the guy. The guy is getting married. How humble is that? How humble is that? Some will not even go for the wedding. They would, to give them that day off, they'll be like, oh, you didn't tell me before you chose the date, so, and I have somewhere to go. Now you are going to make me look for an alternative. They will even say sarcastically, without put, putting any emphasis or importance to what is happening to him, that this is something that is important to his life one day that will make a huge difference or a beginning of a new chapter. You know, so, I mean, it is what it is, but this display of humility... Is commendable. I just want to bring it up to you so you can know the kind of person Davido is. You know, he's an international, he's not just a local um, musician, he's an international musician, Grammy Awards, known across the shores of not just Nigeria, Africa, all around the world, in America, in UK, in Canada, where have you? He has fans all over. You know, Davido to serve as best man at his driver's wedding. Nigerian singer Davido, popularly no David Adek Deleke, popularly known as Davido, has announced that he will be the best man at his driver's wedding. He said this in a Twitter in his tweet on Thursday: "My driver getting married, and I'm his best man." He wrote. Ahead of the wedding, Israel D, who is also known as D -W DMW, is the logistic manager to the 28 years old pop star. Davido, who is yet to get married in an interview with media personality Ebuka on Bounce Radio Live in September, said that the coronavirus pandemic ruined his plan to get married to Chioma. However, came out to say he is going to be a best man to his driver who is getting married soon. You know, so this is, this is just it, my people. Nothing more to read. That's it. You know, it's just the show of, you know, the show of humility. That's what really got to me. And I felt I should share with you, especially um, at this time where we are experiencing uh, people showing that they don't care about the other person or they are the only living being. The other person, because it does not have as much money as they do, is not a living being. They are the ones who are living. The other person is just, um, I mean, he can't be bothered about the other person, you know. For him to come out and say, okay, I'll be your best man, is a show of great humility. He came out and he announced it. He said, I will be the best man. My driver is getting married and I will be his best man. How humble is that? You know, I just want to put it out there, please, my wonderful people. Especially at this time, you know, it's Christmas time. Show a token of love. Be nice to your aides. Be nice to your drivers. 
That man carries you every day. You enter chop right. You buy rice, corn, one, yourself and your children. You eat in the car. He's perceiving all the aroma of the food. You are drinking your Coke. You are making a call. You will not even say, ah, don't worry, Tony. Your own is in this bag. I've bought yours. Once we stop, you can have yours. That will put joy in that kind of person's mind. Listen, your aides are people. They are the closest to you. If you look after them, they will, they will look after you. But if you are mean to them, I'm sorry to say you get what you, you, you get what you reap what you sow. So it says. But if you are nice to them, if you pay them the attention, if you treat them as human beings, if you accord them due respect, you will see it yourself. The way they will look after you, the way they will make sure that you know things are done well for you. When somebody tries to they hear something about you, they will go all out for you. Although there are exceptions, there are some that are just tagged evil. However, do your due diligence. Be nice to people. Give them the opportunity to make their mistakes. And if they've done something wrong, correct them. Forgive and move on. Give a token of love, especially this Christmas, to those who are helping you. That washman, he has been washing your clothes since January. That lady comes to wash your clothes and your children's clothes. You give a heap to her and you just walk. Madam, clean the clothes. So uh, when, when I come back, I'll give you. At times, you might not even pay her that day. You might pay her three days later. I, I mean, I, excuse me. Do they, do, 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 won't you like your own money to be paid on time? You know, so let's, let's think about these things deeply. And in this time of sharing love and remembering, you know, why, you know, uh, those of us who are Christians are Christians, those of us who, you know, during the Eid is for those of us who are Muslims are Muslims, you know, let's give a token of love. Don't just go ahead and celebrate it yourself. Be lovely, be nice, be somebody who has, have a good aura around you. If you give, it, 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 it brings a, it brings an ar aroma around you. It, it opens up, it opens up a new level on you. And guess what? It looks good on you. You might not see it. People recognize it. They know. So why not, you know, make up your mind today. That house help in your house. You go to the bank, you walk all day, you return. Why not this Christmas do something nice for her? Get her a phone. You know that her phone is bad. She has been using rubber band to hold the thing together. Go ahead, buy her a phone. It's a one-off. Give her extra 20000 Take, do shopping. If you can't buy her a phone, buy what you want. And see that person's face lit up with joy. Guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.